If you got it, it ain't a question Oh, it ain't no more for guessing No more than emotionally investing Showing you all my imperfections oh, If I let you take me for granted Yeah, it's your girl sincerely step if you're new here welcome to the family if you're returning then welcome back i really appreciate you if you read the title in the video then you already know what's coming i'm back with another video and this one is 10 tips before moving out of state or to california like we did i have my wine i have my candle i've got my notebook because your girl is nothing without her notebook i wrote down all my tips so i can make sure i cover everything for you guys and I definitely wanted to make sure I stayed on track because I could easily go off track. Before you finish this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications so that you don't miss videos on Sincere Sundays. And when you're done watching this video and if you enjoyed, go ahead and like the video and leave a comment down below. I really love hearing from you guys and I'm excited to hear more from my growing subscribers. And so at the end of the video, feel free to comment below what you liked, what you didn't like, what you want more information on, questions, or just to stop and say, hey, Woo! let me take a sip. I love having conversations over wine. I feel like it like loosens you up. It sets a mood. It gets you in that space that I feel like we all are very comfortable in. And it's not like liquor where it's too much but let's be honest i know we all have our wine nights that turn into nights we literally can't forget so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into those 10 tips so starting from the top my tip number 10 would be to plan ahead absolutely 100 percent. and when i say plan ahead i mean six months to 12 months in advance, meaning before you decide that you're gonna move out of the state or you're going to move to California, take some time to think about it. Take some time to really like plan on it and put together, you know, the time to get things together and really make the decision based on like long-term thinking about it. You definitely don't wanna make like a split decision, end up in another state that you absolutely hate and then end up turning around and going right back to whatever state you're from. I'm from Florida, so going to California was literally going across the country. And me and my boyfriend, um, we actually were thinking about it for a little bit over a year. I think since the beginning of our relationship, it really was something that we knew we wanted to do. Um, he went to school in California. And so it was one of those things that he was really familiar. I had traveled before. Um, needless to say, we spent a lot of time thinking about it before we moved. Okay. Um, tip number nine would be visit the city more than once. So like I just mentioned, my boyfriend went to school in California. I had traveled here, um, before, and then I had traveled quite a few times in the beginning of our relationship when we were long distance and I just couldn't go more than a month without his beautiful face. <laughs> So definitely visit the city more than once. And if it's a huge, um, I say city because if it's a huge state like California, it can be very different. Like NorCal, South, SoCal is what they call it. Um, two totally different places. So if you're not sure what city, definitely visit as many as you can. And if it's a state um, that has really famous or like well-known cities, you can definitely travel to those cities and sort of explore outside of those main cities because going to a major city sounds like the best. It sounds like what's popping, but then you get there and you might not be prepared for what that city has in store for you. So try to look around the outskirts. There's probably cities that are within 15, 20 minutes to the major city that you actually want to live in. And it probably costs a little bit less too. Tip number eight, do your research. I cannot stress this enough. If you're from Miami, like I'm from Miami, as I mentioned earlier, I'm from Florida. Miami is like its own bubble. I swear to you, it should be another state. 
And so anything outside of Miami is different. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you thought. It's different. So when I say do your research, like, I mean, Google it. I don't know, Instagram it, like search, ask, like don't be afraid to ask questions. Like don't be afraid to reach out to people that are already there or who have made the move because the research might not be to the T. I mean, when you get there, it's not gonna be exactly what you put down on paper, but it really does help you get a better understanding of what it's like to really live there. And I don't mean research as in like, um, I don't know, like, the major things that are like really obvious like is it cold there or is it hot like i mean like the actual research like what is it like actually living there again what are those major cities what are those outskirt cities research like that do your research tip number seven Whew. let me take another sip for this one find out if that state has state taxes if you're from Florida, and I'm going to keep referencing this because that's where I'm from, Florida does not have a state tax, meaning if you go somewhere else, you might be caught by surprise. There are states that have what's called a state tax. The state tax is on top of your regular government taxes. So if you already work or if you've ever glanced over your pay stub, there's a breakdown of what taxes actually come out of your check and I know we all hate taxes because it's like what I made this much and you took this much and left me with that much mm -mm. you're gonna be up for a rude awakening if you don't do your research it takes out the usual taxes and then there's a state tax on top of that that comes out so it really is different in what you're expecting to come out of your check especially if you're moving into a state where the cost of living is much higher which Brings me to number six, find out the cost of living. Places like California, where I have come, it's very expensive and it's very different from Florida. Um, Miami is a very expensive place to live and most people will start with that. Like, I'm pretty sure the most expensive cities are Miami, um, San Francisco, uh, Los Angeles, New York, Houston, I'm sure you guys know the rest, but it can be very expensive and it could be a really big shock if you didn't do your research. And finding out the cost of living really isn't as hard as you think. Again, it may not be exactly down to the number that you figured out, but really getting a ballpark is going to be your best bet. And I can definitely share more videos on how to find out these things or the resources that I looked to look at these things. Because some of the things that I did was I really matched um, the cost of living against, you know, what I was making in Miami, Florida, and like what that would translate to in California as far as cost of living. Because, which brings me to the second part of my number six um, with cost of living, is that minimum wage is probably different. So you'll find a lot of places that it might cost more to live, but they pay you more. In Miami, it just doesn't happen that way. It's really expensive, the pay doesn't match. So you really just wanna sort of figure it out um, in a way that you have a good idea ballpark on what it's gonna cost you. And again, considering those taxes that are gonna come out. And if y'all want a video on that, make sure to comment below and I would definitely share my resources or just my like processes or um, my little, I don't know, formula for how I figured it out based on what I was making, what I was going to be making um, with the job offer that I accepted in California, cost of living, all that jazz. Which brings me to number five. Woo! The fun, the fun, the fun, the fun. Find out gas prices, okay? If you're thinking about moving to California, I'm gonna tell you right now, you ain't ready for the gas prices, okay? They are expensive. It is a huge difference. Before coming to California, living in Miami, gas did not go over $3. I'm telling you right now, coming to California, you'll be blessed to find gas at $3. Gas is more so in the $4 to $5 range. When you get into the major cities and the downtown areas, you're looking at over $5. So if you're a person like me who drives a lot or if you plan on having a commute that's more than... 15 maybe 20 minutes from where you plan on living 
you gonna want to find out what those gas prices are because again you do not want to be caught off guard and looking crazy when you thought that it was going to be cute and now you looking like mm, maybe not so definitely find out what the gas prices are in that state in that city that you're trying to move to um and with that let me just add that when you're looking at gas prices look at the distance you plan on driving. So when you sign up for insurance, they ask you like, do you plan on driving more than 12 miles? I think it's like a month or a week or something like that. You should keep that kind of thing in mind. Like gas costs this much and I will probably drive on average this many miles in a, in a month. So do your math. Like again, make sure you comment below if you guys want those resources or the ways that I sort of figured that kind of stuff out before coming here. And then we have number four, which I feel like is um, probably a little bit obvious and it might be where most people start, but find out the average rent in your state. And again, in the city that you're trying to move to. Um, and when I say find out your average rent, I mean, look at what you have now in the current state that you're in. And if you're looking to keep that or get a little bit more, you wanna look at what the average rent is. Um, and you also wanna look at things like if you're, for example, if you're moving downtown, like we have um, the city that we're in, we're in the downtown part of it. And so parking, mm, 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 mm. a lot of apartment places are going to charge you for a parking spot because parking is so hard to come by. So those are all things that you want to put into perspective when you're looking at rent and cost of living. Again, you want to make sure you have the whole picture, not just the pretty one that's convincing you to move there. And then we go down to number three, find out your resources. When I say resources, what kind of grocery stores do they have? Um, what kind of food places do they have? What kind of malls do they have? Again, here in California, we don't have Publix and Publix really hurt my soul to lose, okay? We have something similar, it's called Safeway and um, I think Probably the most comparable thing I found to Publix here in Cali, but no Publix, no Publix. We got Target though, so your girl was happy about that. But do your research on like what that state or what that city has, because if there's a specific store that you really aren't ready to let go of, you want to make sure that that state or that city has it. And if they don't, you may want to reconsider, boo. Which brings me to number two, and number two is find out the weather in that area year round okay here in california um there's a there's a huge thing that they worry about what we worry about which is fires forest fires never in my life have i ever experienced one have I ever been close to one i honestly don't even think i thought much about california going through those things when i was in florida and i knew that that was happening here so you want to look at things like that so like one of the major things that contributed to like the weather change for us is we now have to take our cars for a smog check every year and that's because of the fact that fires are such a thing here and like i said norcal socal two different you can get two different type of energies whether you're in the valley whether you're in the city um whether you're in the bay like we are you might look crazy if you're from Florida or somewhere hot and your entire wardrobe is like shorts and tees and jeans and tees and things like that. You might want to reconsider what is in your closet before moving to that place because again, you want to look at the weather year round. Do they have all the seasons? Do they not? Are they cold? Are they hot? Things like that. So definitely find out what the weather is wherever you're trying to go. And last but not least, and my most major tip that I can really give is take a leap of faith. Take the chance, like embrace the change. I feel like moving out of state, um, for those of us who went to college out of our hometown, um, you get a little bit of taste of different, right? But when you move out completely of that state um, and when you go across the country like we did, it's bound to be very, very different. So my number one tip would be to prepare yourself for that change and really embrace it. Take a leap, girl. We are way too young to be playing this game of I wanted to do it, but I didn't. Now it's too late. Take the chance. Like worst comes to worst, you change your mind, you move back home. But definitely take that chance, okay? Like 
10 out of 10 recommend. Every time I'm here and someone says, how do you like it in Cali so far? My answer has literally been the same. Lots of things to change, lots of things to adjust to, but everything has been so positive. Um, everything has been so progressive and I really don't regret it, not one bit. I'm so glad that I came here. I'm glad I came here with my family and I really enjoy it. And I'm just, you know, a Miami girl living in the, in the Cali world and it's really exciting. So again, thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope that these 10 tips really did help you. And again, if you have any other questions, please comment below. I want to hear your questions. I want to provide more insight, more tips, more advice, more guidance, the whole T, okay? And if you want some of those resources that I mentioned, please comment below. Um, again, I want to hear from y'all. I want to give y'all what y'all need. But either way, I really appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification so you don't miss out on a sincere Sunday. Until next time, ladies. Cheers! If I let you take me for granted, yeah, if I